Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And we have certainly been sharing information over on our Patreon channel about events, especially that they're going to disclose um, the aliens, uh, the visitors, as I've said so often, and even here on Israeli News Live, we've shared with you the next year is coming disclosure that they're going to tell you about the entities, the, the, that we are not alone, that there are uh, extraterrestrial entities that we are working with. Uh, they're not going to necessarily go way back into how long this has been happening, but they've been softening you up, getting you primed, getting you ready. And we shared that with you. Not only that, we shared with you about the Egyptian, or excuse me, the pyramids and what they're used for. Now that's over on our Patreon channel. As I'll show you here, two of our videos here, one being, uh, let's see what the name of this one here was, the alien entity claims to be Ra, the god of Egypt. That was out on September 29th. Talk to you about, this is the very demonic entities, the Nephilim, the fallen angels that they're dealing with. Actually, the fallen, not Nephilim in that case. Also in this video here, what the Alaskan pyramid is really for. October the 7th of 2021. Uh, we shared with you on this video here how that it's going to be a completely new power uh, system, a new power infrastructure that the aliens are going to bring about. And I'm going to be sharing some things here with you that normally I only share on Patreon, but because of the disclosures that's coming and because so many of you are not on Patreon and you wonder sometimes what are the things that we share over there, they're not critical, they're not life-threatening or anything like that, but it's information you should know about, things that you may really want to know about. And uh, after all, we're getting the confirmation that things we've been sharing with you are really true. And I'm going to give you three case in points right here. Tucker Carlson, October the 20th, put out this video right here about UFO technology. Listen to what he has to say. Oh, say but that's crazy. You'd have to be crazy to believe that's possible. Really? Is it any crazier than what's coming out of, say, your average White House briefing? No, it, it really isn't. So with that in mind, a fascinating conference today about UFOs and nuclear weapons that took place in Washington. At it, a U.S. Air Force captain called David Shindeli said he was part of an incident in which a UFO disabled 10 nuclear ICBM missiles. Here's part of what he said. There has been a long history of UFO incidents and encounters, with much investigation of them from 1947 and even earlier. In September of 1966, I was a Minuteman ICBM launch control officer and deputy commander of a launch crew stationed at Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota. I was involved in a UFO incident at that time where a flying object tampered with and took down a total of 10 nuclear-tipped ICBM missiles by rendering them unlaunchable. Tom Rogan is one of the rare serious journalists, actual journalists, in Washington who's been on this. Now, what's fascinating, we've reported these things before and how that the entities, for, for these years, these yeah, alien beings the do have Washington control. Museum. Sorry about that. If I have my finger, I guess, even they were near the mouse pad, it'll change something. But how that the entities, these uh, uh, Nephilim, these fallen angels, have the ability to totally disable our nuclear system. Uh, they pretty much control whether or not we launch an ICBM or not. And at this point now, they're pretty much controlling the entire planet on who can or cannot launch an ICBM. And then we have this one here, one of NASA's own, also hinting around about extraterrestrial life. Listen to what he says here in the interview. What, what do you think we're doing on Mars? What do you think uh, we're looking for life? This is a part of NASA's mission. That's what this telescope uh, is going to be looking for. Are there other planets elsewhere that there is life? Now, I know what you've seen is what 
those Navy pilots saw in 2004, and there have been some 300 sightings since then. And I've talked to those pilots, and they know they saw something, and their radars locked onto it. And, and then all of a sudden it was here on the surface, and then it's there. Uh, and they don't know what it is, and we don't know what it is. We hope it's not an adversary here on Earth that has that kind of technology. Uh, but it's something. And, uh, and so this is... That's hinting around. That's getting the general public ready for what is coming. That's them grooming you. And of course, as we mentioned in one of our many videos we've done on our alien disclosures there, alien entity claims to be Ra, the god of Egypt. We speak about that in this video here. There's coming a disclosure. Have you been told that there's going to be soft disclosure? in between now and next year. And they're doing exactly that. Then come the issue about the Alaskan Pyramid. If you remember, those of you that have our Patreon channel here, I shared with you that it's at 85% capacity. The pyramids are actually used as a alien technology, completely different form of electricity or energy that is produced from the core of the earth. Two pyramids are up and running, the Alaskan Pyramid and also the Pyramid under the Bermuda Triangle. One of the reasons why there were so many planes and ships that went missing over the years was the times they were trying to jumpstart this pyramid. It does mess with the electromagnetic fields of the Earth, and that's what caused these ships and planes to literally go to another dimension. It's a dangerous thing to begin with. But to show you, and I've said to you in one of my briefings, and in fact, this is the very one, I gave you that inside information where they're working on a new infrastructure that'll totally replace our electric as we know it. In fact, my own observation was, this is why we're gonna have a major electrical meltdown this winter. They've got to crash the entire electrical system and they will do it. Not that it's going to happen naturally. It will be done intentionally because they're coming out with the new alien technology. And these fallen angels, these devils, are going to come as if they're saviors of the world and they're going to tell you they have their the new type of energy. You know, recently in one of the videos here on Patreon, I shared with you that I was told, watch the V movie. The V series is, is uh, of course, this is the older version here. They do have a modern version of this movie. It's where aliens come down to take over the earth. And one of the things that's very fascinating in the series that they have, uh, at least the modern series that, that, that I've been watching on Netflix, is also the issue of power. They're coming to offer a new form of power. They call it the blue uh, power. And as I mentioned to you, the whole idea behind this movie is giving you glimpses of what the aliens are going to do. They offer healing centers, uh, all types of things that are going to happen. And these are things and in Intel reports that I've been told that is going to happen when they go to disclose themselves next year. They also want mankind to be in a desperate situation when they do begin to reveal themselves, including in sickness and everything else you can imagine, power failure. Now, that's my own observation on the power failure, that our power will fail as a result of them needing this new infrastructure. Now, speaking of needing new, new infrastructure, let me share with you what I heard on RT earlier today. Actually, this morning, I want to play for you this clip right here. Listen to this. 
Protection Organization decided to also address the issue of electromobility. Electricity consumption will increase by 25% as a result. Although that is not the real problem. The main problem is that you need very high power to charge the batteries within a reasonable time. In the long run, this will lead to charging in private households. The development of an infrastructure to charge a larger number of cars is completely undeveloped. People have been too naive about this, and naive is an incredible understatement. Despite those concerns, electric vehicles, including buses like these, do seem like they are going to be the future. In fact, manufacturers are so... A new infrastructure, totally undeveloped. Whether or not this man knows the alien agenda or not, I have no clue. But one thing's for sure, they're going to crash the electricity, as I said already. And I believe they're bringing this all down so that these demonic entities, these Nephilim, the fallen ones, the fallen angels, as they come back to earth with Satan and all of his minions, they're going to try to introduce themselves as the saviors of the world. That will be your beast kingdom, your antichrist system. They're coming to give you all the answers to all of your woes. No wonder why they have this plan-demic going on. So that they can be your healers. You won't have electricity anymore. And of course, you're going to all electrical cars anyway. And they're going to fix it to where you can just charge while you drive down the highway. That's the new infrastructure. That's why they're going to collapse our system. And of course, we'll be in such chaos, fighting and wars. And then asteroids that they probably are directing right into the planet. All these things will continue to happen. And then they will present themselves as saviors of the world. So check out our Patreon channel, Patreon forward slash Israeli News Live. Patreon.com, I guess, forward slash Israeli News Live. I'll put a link there for you in the description below. And also, if God lays it on your heart to support the work that we're doing, please support the work. We need your help because we can't do it without you. You can donate online just by a click of that button right there under or donate online or by mail to Noon Institute, P.O. Box 156 Sunbright, Tennessee 37872. And as a reminder, well, maybe I shouldn't play the reminder there. And the reason I shouldn't is because this way we can just load this straight to Israeli News Live YouTube. But you ought to watch that video right there. Biden administration pushes elimination of commerce and free enterprise. Well, I played the clip of my wife in that video, so I think you'll enjoy it. I'm Stephen Benoon. Very, very amazing interviews coming up this week. You are going to be meeting some new professionals. I'll just say that. New professionals coming on the scene that are disclosing and sharing information that is going to rock your world. I have been in communication with one particular man and he is able to confirm some of these things that I've been sharing with you. Like, for example, how long did it take for them to develop the mandate? There are some, you know, professionals in the med world that know about the agenda. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you for listening and have a blessed evening.